I'm Wesley LaRue, Director of Plan Giving at the University of Memphis. On behalf of the university, we hope you and your loved ones are well. Joining me today to talk about the benefits of some recent tax changes is Dr. Hannah Smith, Assistant Professor in the Cruz School of Accountancy within the Fogelman College of Business and Economics. Hannah joined the U of M faculty last fall. Her research and teaching focus on all aspects of taxation. As a native Memphian, she is proud and excited to be a part of the U of M community. Welcome, Hannah. Hi, Wesley. It's great to be back here talking to you about the tax advantages of giving to the University of Memphis. So Hannah, I know there's a lot of buzz surrounding possible tax changes coming out of Washington in the near future. What can you tell us about charitable giving incentives for donors this year? 2021 has been an interesting year with a lot of talk about taxes in the news. I want to highlight some new information about tax-wise giving, as well as discuss a few ongoing ways savvy donors can support the university. First, we have the CARES Act that allows donors to deduct up to 100% of their adjusted gross income for cash gifts this year. This is for 2021 only and will revert to 60% next year. So this is a great year for larger cash gifts. This is a benefit for those that itemize their deductions on their tax return. For those individuals that don't itemize, there's an extension of the $300 above the line deduction and a new $600 above the line deduction for couples filing joint returns. This means that all of us can reduce our taxable income by $300 or $600 if we make a cash donation to a qualified charity such as the U of M this year. There's also good news for business owners. If your business operates as a corporation, you have an increased charitable contribution limit this year from the usual 10% to 25%. These are the most relevant giving incentives for the majority of individuals in 2021. Sounds like most people can benefit from making charitable gifts of cash in 2021. What about incentives for our sophisticated donors who have appreciated assets they've owned for more than one year? Gifts of appreciated assets, such as marketable securities, are always a very tax-savvy way to make a charitable contribution. For many, giving these assets instead of cash maximizes the benefit of the gift to the charity and maximizes all related tax benefits to the donor. It's always been a smart move to donate appreciated assets such as stocks. And with the possibility of an increase in capital gains rates in the near future, donations of appreciated assets become an even more beneficial way to support the university and minimize taxes. Charitable gift annuities are a great way donors can take advantage of these tax benefits with the gift of either cash or appreciated assets. CGAs provide a partial tax deduction and a lifetime stream of income for the donor. That's really good advice, Hannah. Please contact us or visit myumlegacy.org if you want to learn more about charitable gift annuities and other smart ways to give. Thank you again for joining us today, Hannah, and sharing your expertise. At U of M, we know you have important priorities and your health and those you care for come first. When you're ready, we will be here to help you create a charitable gift plan that suits your family's needs and allows you to build a legacy at the U of M supporting future generations of Tiger students. Be well and go Tigers.